Good morning, world. Hello, everyone, everywhere. Pastor Robert Thibodeau here. Welcome to another Prayer 2021 session. We come every morning, 5 a.m. Eastern Time, right here, Facebook Live, YouTube Live. Uh, this will be recorded for the podcast. We're just coming into your home to give you a different aspect of prayer each and every morning. We're sponsored by podcastersforchrist.com. So if you have a podcast, a Christian podcast, you're thinking of starting a podcast, you want more information on how to start a podcast, go to podcastersforchrist.com. Take a look around. There's free resources right there on the front page for you. that will just get you started and, and, and get pointed in the right direction because it's all to get the word out. Amen. Glory to God. Today is February 7. The scripture for today is from Acts chapter 4, verse 31. After they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. Praise the Lord. Let's go to the Lord with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We praise you for your word. We praise you for an infilling of the Holy Spirit. We praise you for open doors of opportunity where we get to proclaim your word with boldness. Oh, Father, we thank you we're not timid with our faith. We thank you that in this day and in this hour and this time, you've empowered your people called by your name to preach the word of God with boldness. Lord, the time to be timid is gone. The time now is to be bold with our faith. And we pray for wisdom and understanding in this area. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Glory to God. We're going to continue talking today about prayer in the early church. Now, when you get to the place where you can get serious with God, when you get to the place that you really don't care who sees you, hears you praying, or hears about you praying, then you will begin to see the results. Amen. I mean, we've been studying the past few days about God shaking the places that the disciples were praying from, prisons, rooms, with other believers, etc. But I want to look at what actually caused Peter and John to get in trouble in the very first place. Okay, Acts chapter 3, verses 6 through 8. You can read the story about how they healed, in the name of Jesus, the crippled man at the gate beautiful, and how this was done openly, publicly, and word spread very quickly that this notable healing had occurred. And then the word soon got back to the Pharisees who sent the temple guard in to bring Peter and John in for questioning. And they wanted to beat them. They wanted to lock them up. But someone had reported this news had already been spread all over town. It went quick. And it could not be swept under the rug or denied. So then they decided to threaten Peter and John before they let them go. Folks, this happens in our society today, right now today. If you preach against homosexuality or transgenderism or anything that the left says is normal but the Bible calls an abomination, if you call them out on that, you will be threatened. I was preaching up in Canada a few years back and was told by this church pastor, he said, please don't say anything about gays. The government here will shut us down. They will come in and shut down the church. I could even end up in jail. I mean, this cancel culture syndrome is now in the United States, especially with this administration that's running the show now. But anyway, we're here to talk about prayer and the power of prayer. Amen. We covered in yesterday's program that, you know, Peter's reply from verses 19 and 20 about whether it's right in the sight of God to, to obey you or him, you decide, but we're going to keep on preaching, basically is what he said. Glory to God. That's my paraphrase anyway. But we also covered how they went back to their own church members and reported what had happened. And then they all prayed together, verbally and in one accord, and how God shook the very building they were in. Now, he did not send an earthquake to the area. He did not shake other buildings. He did not destroy anything. He simply shook the building to let them know he heard them and then answered their prayer and sent that spirit of boldness on them. Amen. Glory to God. Don't shut me down when I'm preaching good. Hallelujah. That's what they had asked for. That's what they asked for. In verse 29, they asked for boldness as they were determined to keep on preaching and keep on teaching despite the threats. Amen. And then in verse 31, we see immediately God 
answering their prayers with that confirming sign, the shaking, and then the filling with the Holy Spirit to have that spirit of boldness. It's the exact thing the Pharisees did not want to happen. That's the thing that did happen, praise God. They tried to and, and told two disciples, just shut up and go home. And when these two told their friends, and then they all started to pray together, that all of them, not just Peter and John, but all of them would receive boldness to preach the gospel. God granted their request, answered their prayers, and shook that building, praise God. Now, instead of two bold disciples of Jesus, there was a whole room full of disciples, bold disciples, going out, hitting the streets, declaring the name and declaring the power of the name of Jesus, healing all sorts of manner of diseases, all in the face of the Pharisees. Like, take that, Jack. Hey, man, praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, don't shut me down when I'm preaching good. I'm happy right now. Oh, man, we will pick it. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I could keep on going. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But once I start on this next part, it'd be hard to shut, slow this train down. So I, go, I, I need to jump off it right now. Praise God. We'll pick it up, though, here again tomorrow. I want to pray for you to receive that kind of boldness in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Father, in the name, in the name of Jesus, we ask for this kind of boldness in our life. We ask for this kind of boldness to declare your word even in the face of adversity. We ask that we could stand up to the idiotic, stupid, moronic people running this show today that think that Anything that has to do with your word is needs to be canceled in this culture. We pray for the boldness to stand up to them and say, in the name of Jesus, just bind the devils that are behind this thing to cast out the devils out of all the political leadership against, against anything that has to do with your word. We pray for boldness in the name of Jesus to stand tall in this day and in this hour in which you've placed us today to be bold in the name of Jesus. Be bold in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. We thank you for that infilling of the Holy Spirit that allows us to be bold in our proclamation that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is running this show. Jesus is Lord over the United States of America and around the world. And we just give you, Father, all honor and glory and praise in Jesus' name. Oh, praise God. Shout amen, somebody. Glory to God. Do me a favor. If you, if you enjoyed what we just did, praise God. Leave a comment down below if you're on YouTube. Give us that thumbs up. That helps us just to, to get the word out farther and farther into all the earth. Amen. I'd greatly appreciate if you leave us a review and rating over on iTunes. Uh, it just takes you one or two minutes. Just look for Prayer 2021. And and you'll see the little icon there, and just give us give us a good rating and review. That helps us to to get found as well in search engines and all that kind of stuff. Be sure to visit our website, podcastsforchrist.com. Load that free resource: How to Start a Christian Podcast. Praise God! Be bold. You have it inside you. Be bold. Start preaching the gospel on the internet. Get your own podcast up and running. Let everyone know that you're not going to take it anymore. Praise God. It's free right there, and it'll bless you immensely if you have or are thinking of starting a podcast all of your own. Till next time, this is Pastor Bob reminding you, be blessed. Well, I almost forgot our scripture of the day, didn't I? Praise God. This is the foundation scripture of the entire year that we're doing here. I want to remind you, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, and the Living Bible says, Always keep on praying. Amen. Be blessed, folks, in all that you do.